Hello Scorpio, hope you're doing well. Welcome to your mid month reading. So this is going to be for the second half of December. And today we're taking a look at a connection that you're dealing with, okay? So keep in mind that the, the, the roles could be reversed. And this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's totally fine. You can always check your other signs or any other beautiful reading here on YouTube. And if it does, feel free to give it a like, subscribe, comment, anything you can do to support this channel is very, very welcomed and appreciated. And yeah, take what resonates with what doesn't. And let's get started. We have past life relationships, stay optimistic about your love life, shine from within, and music. So this music, I'm actually getting that, um, I really don't see it as straightforward as that. Could actually be connecting with a musician here. You could be a musician. I'm also getting that for, for, for those of you who are a musician, uh, your career could actually be going places, okay? You could actually be seeing some growth. But uh, I just feel like you're receiving signs here, okay? And it, it may be a very specific song. You, you could be connect I do feel like this is someone new, and you could be connecting with this person through a song. I don't know, maybe you're the only two who know a specific song and you start talking about it, or, uh, and this could be very random, like you're with friends or something like that, or you're just doing something and a music starts playing or anything like that, you start talking about music and you found out that the two of you actually like the same song and it's really important, and it is important because it's something from your past life, so you may be, I'm getting that it could be an 80s song, I don't know if you're into 80s, um, but... It could be like an old, old school song. And it is important because it is important for the past life relationship, okay? Where is the specific instrument? Something in regards to music. I do feel like for some of you, you could be connecting with a musician or you, or you are a musician, okay? And with this Shine From Within, I'm actually getting that it's like... Um, like all this light comes out because you you finally feel understood, you know. It's like you finally understand why you're here. <laughs> I don't know. You just feel like you have a purpose. I don't know. Your life starts making sense. You may be in this place where nothing makes sense, and all of a sudden, just talking to that person about that specific song, about that specific thing, everything starts making sense. You know, everything starts looking real. Because it is really intense here. Okay, so we do have the devil here. Um, okay, <laughs> I'm also getting uh, that for those of you who do know tarot, uh, who have been watching tarot for some time and are starting to understand some meanings. Once you saw the devil, you were like, oh great, so yeah, I'm connecting with the devil musician that I'm not going to connect with because I don't want that in my life. Chill, okay, chill. Allow this, allow me to speak, okay? Because I don't think that is such a bad devil. I feel like this devil is talking about your past life relationships. Um, that in the past, it may have not been that easy. And I feel like in this lifetime, you're actually going to break a lot of barriers. And you're connecting on a deeper, bigger level. Because you're finally letting those patterns and those a toxic cycles karmic cycles going to an end okay i do feel like a lot of karmic cycles are coming to an end especially within you and this person that come from past lives and you're finally having the opportunity to be together okay so in the past there could have been a lot of blockages and in this lifetime i do feel like those blockages are being released or in the past, in past lifetimes, it could be about releasing those blockages. So now you can actually come together here, okay? With love. Look at this Queen of Cups, love. So let's see here. For your current energy, what is your current energy here? We have well, we have you <laughs> with uh, death here, Scorpio energy. We have Queen of Cups and Three of Cups. I do feel like you're in a very cool vibe. For some of you, you are not going, or I feel like you haven't been going through a very easy path. And now things I feel like it's are getting better with this 
death here, rebirth, transformation, and you're starting to have you're starting to have fun, to feel more confident, feel more independent in your life, and I feel like you're actually starting to enjoy life. And for some of you, I do feel like you've already met this person. For others of you, you haven't, and I do feel like if you have, it's very recent. But I feel like you're starting to finally be a little out there. I feel like you may have gone through a little bit of a hermit mode uh, where you didn't really want to leave the house. Possibly this whole quarantine and coronavirus situation really shook you down. And I feel like you had a little bit of a, a rough season, a rough couple of... a, a rough year. Because I don't think it's been just months. Maybe for some of you it's even years. And... I do feel like you're getting into a new phase. And it could be all those difficult years, difficult months, difficult year, uh, whatever is resonating for you in terms of time. I do feel like it, is, it was you breaking a lot of those karmic patterns, karmic cycles, and your person was probably doing the same here, right? So now, with all this love and all these cups, you're finally opening your heart and you're finally setting those, letting those karmic patterns free, letting them go and you're creating new patterns new cycles where your heart is open your heart is filled with love and you're ready for love you're ready for a lifetime reconciliation huh that's pretty good so let's see this person's energy could be connecting with an aquarius with the star over here We have the star and the six of cups. So yeah, it's basically what I just said. With the star and the six of cups, all those karmic past life cycles, patterns, toxic behaviors, all of it being healed. So you two can be together now. I'm, I'm kind of getting twin flame. Doesn't have to be. Um, but yeah, let me see. What are your feelings here? I feel like you feel like love is bullshit. <laughs> love is not real. Like, I'll never find my match. This is just, I'm, I'm, I'm done with it. I don't want it. I don't want it. That is a little bit of fear talking about. Okay, because you could have, you could actually have your match coming up. Look at this. King of Cups and Queen of Cups powerful powerful couple and i do feel like you are manifesting it um unconsciously you're doing it without knowing and you're doing it because you're finally stepping into your power and you're finally allowing yourself to be and to exist and uh, you could actually be a scorpio sagittarius cusp because you have a lot of fire here but you're looking that fear in the eye you're still fearing it a little bit you're still like man i don't know but at the same time you're healing it and so i feel like you still think that love is bullshit but at the same time i feel like there's a little seed of hope over there and that is what is bringing you two together we do have safe domestic about your love life there so that seed of hope may actually be growing and growing and growing and um you you end up attracting this person much more easily when you let that seed of, of hope grow yeah this person is very fun to to be around and it's a ten of cups so again twin flame energy here uh they want love they don't reject love they don't um like think love is bullshit they are open to it they may come up um physically not physically but like first impression they could come up as um a player that's why you may see them as being toxic as being manipulative has you know i don't want to deal with this uh it's still toxic it's still devil energy i honestly don't think it is i honestly don't think it is because we do have six of pentacles uh taurus energy here with the hierophant page of cups i do feel like they have a really big heart and um, I do find that Aquariuses, sometimes they flirt without even realizing it, and that could be this person. Uh, so that's why they may come up as a player, but I really don't think they are. They're just really fun to be around. 
Um, and yeah, I really feel like they are committed oriented here. Scorpio, I really don't feel like you should uh, or you have a need to fear this person or to fear this relationship, to fear love, okay? Because I do feel like all your karmic cycles and patterns have been worked on, have been released, okay? And we actually be receiving music, songs about that, messages through music about that, okay? So what is the energy here between the two? Okay. Yeah, I do feel like, let's start here, with the, the, the Knight of Cups, I do feel like you're coming closer together, but there is still a little bit of, I actually love saying this, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, there is still a little bit of fear that I don't necessarily feel like you, I mean, we should obviously work on it, but I feel like you'll only be able to work on it once you know, you want to meet this person, because you'll have to face it, you'll have to be like, okay, well, screw it, I'm just gonna go, and sort of take a loop of faith here, um, but I do feel like you've been waiting for something like this, and probably you forget about that, and is that little seed, seven of pentacles, that little seed of hope is now coming towards you, okay, and with this five of wands, uh, four of pentacles, I do feel like it's you, trying to protect your heart because I do feel like you are now open to love but at the same time you still fear it and so you're like man we're gonna take things slowly because I don't want to get hurt um and I also feel like you're more open to love to other people and not really to romantic relationships too but I just feel like you're change you're trying to change that I feel you're making the effort to try to change that, <laughs> something like that. So what is the potential of this relationship? Have three pentacles. Oof. Yeah, I really like, I really love this. Oh, look at this. The sun, so much happiness, slow movement, which is what you wanted, where it was looking like you wanted. Moving towards calmer. Places where you are free, you are independent, you are not afraid to have each other's, um, to live independently and still have each other because this is going to be so grounded, so um, balanced. You may have a project together, you may work together eventually, and it's just, it's going to feel different. You may even be the last person that you're going to date, okay? This could be, uh, and, and, not to scare you in any way, and uh, you may not even believe in that, but if you do, I do feel like this could be your last lifetime of some sort, or at least a la the last lifetime, you may still have a mission that you haven't completed, but when it comes to, the, to love, I do feel like it's the last time that you'll have troubles with love. Maybe that brings you a little peace because I do feel like you're breaking a lot of patterns here and you have been manifesting this person your whole life. I really feel like you have been manifesting this person your whole life. Um, I don't necessarily feel like you've always felt a void or something like that. I just feel like you may have had a, like the ideal partner, this dream partner that has a child. You've been losing it because of all the, the shitty things that you've been going through. And now, but that was always there because it was meant to be in your life. And now I feel like they're coming towards you and it's going to feel so empowering and so truthful to yourself. And you're going to take so much care of yourself, so much care of your person. This person is going to do the same for you and is going to feel the same when it comes to them. Okay. So let's pull some final messages and advice here for you, Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? All right. So a lot of self care here, but let's see. We have follow your heart, trust, trust your spirit guides in the universe because this is definitely being guided. This is definitely faded. Okay, this person is meant to be in your life. This is meant to happen. All right. We're ready. A story. Don't let the past sort of haunt you. Don't let those fears. 
prevent you from actually going towards this relationship, okay? We can also have forgiveness. And I feel like this is about forgiving your past, you know, making amends with your past. Hey, it happened. Making amends with love, you know? Love is BS. Forgive love, you know? Love is not always pretty. Forgive it. And now be open to receive new, better things, okay? Uh, you are not alone. Definitely being guided in bubble bath and face mask. It's like, while well, this person doesn't come in, take care of yourself, take care of your body, take care of your soul. Just relax, relax. Put yourself pretty <laughs> for when this person comes in, okay? So I feel like that's all the messages that I'm getting here, Scorpio. So I hope this resonated, hope it helped somehow. I actually really like this reading because you're breaking a lot of patterns. And I do, I, that thing that I was talking about, like this being your last lifetime with love BS, uh, I really feel like it's uh, the case if you resonated with this reading. Okay, you're breaking a lot of shitty things. Alright, so Scorpio, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated, hope it helped somehow. If it did, feel free to give it a like, subscribe, comment, anything you can do to support this channel. I just saw 1616. Uh, synchronicities, <laughs> which is basically what music talks about, okay? Receiving messages. Um, but yeah, whatever you can do to support this channel is very, very welcome. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.